on it. So this gentleman wants $489. Uh, the price is not set. Low ballers move on. PM me for more info. It's a custom tower. Windows 10 Pro, a Zeus motherboard, an i5. He doesn't say which generation i5 it is. 16 gigs of G skill RAM. He doesn't clarify what type of RAM or the speed. So that that leads me to believe that this is DDR3 G skill RAM. Um, 120 gig SSD and a one terabyte. Looks like he has a GeForce 970 4 gig card, a 460 watt power supply, a Blu-ray DVD player, a 30 day warranty. I don't get that. I don't know how you can warranty unless he bought it from a manufacturer. I don't know. Maybe he's just offering a warranty. No, I do not game consoles on trade. Please only PM me. Thank you. And I really don't see nothing too special about it. I mean, I like the case. The case looks cool. That's just showing you what he has in it. It's a Toshiba 1 terabyte hard drive and a PMY 120 gig. And he wants $480, but he says that the price isn't set. Oh, there it is. It's an i5-357K, so it's, it's overclockable because it's a case cube. Windows 10 Pro 2019 edition. 489 bucks. You know, I would probably say that maybe he's about a hundred bucks too much for it. I mean he could probably ask two fifty, maybe three hundred dollars for it, but um, it's a little bit old in my opinion. So I don't you know I, I think somebody that knows what they're doing um, won't offer him that type of money because we know that this is older stuff and really the new titles and the new games and the new stuff um, that this system um, would probably lackluster a little bit. Even though it's a 970 and it's a 4 gig card, I mean, you could still get away with that. But like I said, the system's old and if you're going to spend $400, I would suggest you put that towards a newer upgradable system, you know, something that's more generational friendly, something that's in the 7th, 8th, or ninth generations of either AMD or Intel, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so here's another PC. This is great for games like the R... For like for the R6, Apex, Fortnite, Arc, etc. It runs games at 170 frames on Fortnite. Oh my god. Come on. Really? You're running 170 frames on Fortnite with a GTX 1050? Of course you are. That's that's real easy to do with a, with on Fortnite. Right. Especially with a 1050. And you don't even have a TI. You just have a 1050. Very basic computer. You have an i3. It's an 8th gen i3 8350K. Um, looks like you're running a 250 gig Western Digital Blue in it. You got a hard drive, digital 500 green. The case, the case is a DIY PC Vision. I've never heard of that. Let's see here. Let's look at it. There's a setup has green case fans in it glass does he have what's this right here look at this cable that runs up and along oh is that for the CPU that's a CPU cable geez and it looks like he has some kind of Zelman what uh, CPU cool in there you see that that Zelman looking CPU cooler in there with all them fins on it it looks very basic very basic and I almost want to say that I think this is the Walmart PC. It looks like the Walmart PC with that front on it. And like he's changed it around a little. But I don't know. I don't think it's worth 600 bucks. No way. You have a, bro, you have an i3 in it. Yes, it's an 8th gen system. But you have a very basic power supply in it. Okay. 
you have a basic motherboard, an H310, and then on top of that, you have a 1050 in it. That's also a very basic card. Okay, I'll give it to you that you have a little bit of storage in it, a 250 gig um, Western Digital Blue hard drive, and then a 500 gigabyte worthless ter uh, mechanical drive that's just worth, I mean, I would just throw that in a box. I wouldn't even bother with that. So, and I don't believe that you're hitting 170 frames on Fortnite. I mean, you might, but once you start moving around and dancing around, I bet those frames drop like rocks. But then again, getting any type of frameage out of Fortnite is incredibly easy. But 620 bucks, you're out of your mind. Alrighty, so here is a new... Let's see here. This is a new RGB custom build gaming PC. Comes with all brand new parts, manufacturer warranty. So that leads me to believe that this person did not build this computer. The PC comes with a Ryzen 3rd Gen 3200G, four cores, four threads. This PC is for casual to competitive gaming and games like Fortnite, COD Blow 3, Rocket League. CSGO, but these are all games that are like downloadable. They really, yeah, I mean, I guess he's, yeah, he's right about that. Those, the system could play those games because those games don't really require much of a system to play. Note, these are customizable and you can have different components to fit, but may come with different cost upgrades. So he's offering upgrades with it. Why? Just put it in the system and ask for the money for it. I wouldn't even bother doing all of this extra crap. And according to this, he wants an extra $15 for a license key. Well, dude, if I'm going to buy a new custom-built gaming PC from you, I already expect it to have an operating system on it. Why do I have to give you another $15 when you want $415? Is that what the fifth? Is that why? Oh, I see it. $400 for the computer, but you want $415 for it. So that $15 is the license for it. I get it. I got it. We only do cash and we'll answer any questions you have about our build. It looks pretty lackluster to me. I mean, very standard case, standard power supply, standard motherboard, standard CPU. I mean, yeah, it's exactly what he says it is. It's, it, it's for new people. It looks cool. Though. I like the RGB strip in the front. That looks cool. That's a cool shot with it coming through the backside there. I like that. That's cool. And there's another picture of it. That's cool. I kind of like the case. I like the front of it, I should say. I'd take all this crap out and just, I don't know, I'd sell it. Because none of it's really worth anything. That A320 motherboard, you can't do nothing with it. The 3200G, that, you know, that's nothing. He's not offering a graphics card either with it. You guys notice that? There's no graphics card in there. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Okay, well, I found somebody that's selling something for almost $700. Let's see what's in it. It's the, the case is a HEX 300, an AMD 1500X. I didn't know Ryzen made a 1500X. Huh. Let's see here. It has a B450 Plus Prime motherboard. Good. An RX 590. Good. Stock cooler, an EVGA W1 500 white, good, I'll take an EVJ. EVGA, uh, let's see here, Team Elite Plus 2x8 2400, a little bit slow, but especially for Ryzen, that's that's real slow, uh, it's only an 8 gig, wireless card, none, fans, it has 128, 120 gig, and then a 2 terabyte hard drive in it. You know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of cases that, oh, look, he has his time by score on pier 447. Dude, my machine crushed that score. Wow, a 447? Bro. Never mind, moving on.
We're not even going to talk about it. Okay, he's proven that he has this stuff in it. Okay, I get it. It's a brand new case. It looks like he bought it a pre-built because the stuff's still on it and all the components are inside of it. So it's a pre-built system. Um... Uh, I don't care for the CP or the uh, the power supply. I don't like the power supply mounting at the top of the cases. I don't I don't care for that. Um, my personal thoughts that since it's a 1500, it's a Ryzen 3. So you have a Ryzen 3 paired with an RX 590, which that doesn't make any sense. And then you have the slowest RAM possible put in the machine. Uh, so, yeah. No, this ain't worth that. This is maybe worth somewhere in the four to $500 range. What do you guys think? Make sure to leave a comment below on what you guys think. And while you're down there, make sure to leave a like, too. Alright, guys. So, this is the last one. I hope you guys like this video. I think I might do more videos like this. Keep the series going. Um, I'm going to call it uh, something like me looks at your PCs or my my thoughts on your PCs or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll start a series with it. But this is our last one. I hope you guys like this. Please leave me a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. You got to hit a like. It no longer works around the views. YouTube used to work off of views. Now it works off of likes. You got to turn that little thumb blue. You know, and, and I'll get credit for this video. So, this is um, a gaming PC. He wants 500 bucks. It's a Ryzen 5, 8 gigs of RAM. Doesn't tell us the speed of the RAM. He has a 500 gig hard drive. That's mechanical. I don't want that. He has an R7 4 gig card. That's crap. 650 watt power supply. Windows 10 Pro. Arctic white case. If you have any questions, please ask. $700 or best offer. Now he has it at $500. Bucks. Okay, so my thoughts. I mean, I like how he's throwing in the keyboard and the mouse and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. The case looks cool. I like the case. Um, but let's see here. That R7 graphics card, that's crap. Really, the only thing I'm, I'm thinking about keeping is that now, that 500 gig hard drive, it has a Windows 10 Pro license key on it. So, that, that has a little, like a small, very small piece of value for me. Um, the R7, that's crap. I would probably just try to resell it. I would keep the 8 gigs of RAM for later projects. And same with the R5, I would keep that for later projects. Um, so I would probably be interested really in just the motherboard, which he doesn't tell us what type of motherboard is in it. I'm assuming that it's a very basic, probably an A320 motherboard. So that's very basic. So I'd probably sell off a lot of that other crap and just keep the processor, the RAM, and the power supply. And then the hard drive, I would just throw in a box knowing that it, and write Windows 10 on it, knowing that it has Windows 10. And the case, uh, the case I would shelf for a later project. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, the headphones I would sell. The mouse I would probably keep, depending on if I liked it or not. But, yeah. So there you have it, guys. I hope you all liked it. Please leave me a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Maybe I can do more like this. Yeah, we should do more like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a like.